parent is to make sure that we love everybody equally and give attention equally. Doesn't matter what color our children is. And as a as a sister, you know, where you have the feminine side of you, you use that warmth and that uh, the warmth of a sister. Uh, it's very different from the warmth of a brother. The feminine, the feminineness in the sister is such that some that the younger brother can go to and confide and say, you know, I'm not happy with mom and dad cause. So we want it to be very open as well. So if you have that, if you understand that role, it's much easier for you to work as a as a team leader and an assistant in achieving the vision that you are talking about. Because peace can be achieved in the structure of a family. If there's no sense of family, it's much more difficult. Anyone would like to add anything? Or any question? Do you think you can, uh, can be the elder brother or elder sister or the younger ones? Can you? I think uh, since they are here together, the team leader, leader and the assistant leader should really connect. I mean, I find as a, when I was a team leader, I found sometimes you know there were difficulties and all that. But if the team leader and the assistant leader can really work like you know a brother or like brothers or like brother and sister or whatever, I think they can really achieve it. So how? What are what are the system that we need to make sure that it happens? Basically, one thing is that, you know, if the leader is not what you want, right, you should be able to discuss it and, you know, the leader also should have an open mind. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. And the assistant leader, sometimes I've seen in certain teams, the assistant leader is nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. Right? The leader has to see to everything. But here they have got the opportunity not to let that happen right? because it's not, you, know, you don't go there and then we don't choose then and there. <coughs> here they are they're more prepared. So I think they need to really communicate and uh, find their own ways of uh, you know, building that relationship. So what she's talking about is a system whereby you know you, you two are that the leaders themselves are also close to one another. And usually in team building, what we do is we do activity to make sure that this is created. You know, if we don't have activity, it will take a while for us to feel. <coughs> that sign of bondage. So usually activity is very important. Um, so following from what you said, what I would like to do is um, to have you, to, to divide you into two groups. And I want you to create a vision of what you think, um, of your vision of, how the, a vision of peace. What do you think peace is? Using not pen, not paper, but anything that you can find around the ground here. Yeah. And this statement that whatever that you can come out with, for example, you, for example, if you want to do, you want to show, uh, say, a symbol of peace, right? And you're making a house, so you can have sticks. You can have uh, pebbles to represent. Uh, the parent, whatever it is, just use your creativity. But as a group, you need to, to work on how you, how what can you do from the natural from the environment that you can pick up to show the, to symbolize peace. 